Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2. Also of note, something I forgot to mention in the last episode. I learned, I was told that uh, the end stages that I said I couldn't remember the name of and just called Burkana Stage, I forgot, it's the Reploid Research Laboratory. So that's technically the name of that stage and uh, just a bad over, a little bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, you yeah. know, call it Fox Brain moment. It would help if I had the game window selected, wouldn't it? Okay, so probably gonna go with. I think the dash upgrade was in Volt Catfish's level. I may not be able to take him down as easily, though, without the armor to protect me, but having the dash early on should be nice. Since I know where a lot of the upgrades are from the first run through, I might try to grab those in a timely fashion. <laughs> There's shocky shocks everywhere, go away! There's also a health upgrade in this level, I think. Jump. No! Ow! Die! Almost. I meant to wait for them to be where I could get them for them. Here's, yeah, all ready to the food upgrade, and I... Like I said in the first run through, I really enjoy the fact that <gasps> uh, time freeze when you pick up an item and get healed, and I didn't hold down the button the extra amount of time to compensate for that momentary freeze. I really enjoy that they took the time to combine and customize levels. Uh, Mega Man Extreme 1 was known for the fact that it kind of cut and pasted a lot of the levels out of X1 and X2. So I like that X Extreme 2 really went be above and beyond with that, such as combining Volt Catfish and Toxic Seahorse's level together, adding new hazards that Enter this capsule. Take this leg upgrade. The upgrade will enhance your mobility and enable you to dash while jumping. You'll also be able to break block certain blocks with your legs. Oh, dash upwards. When he vanishes, there's a texture that appears that I keep wanting to know what it is, but I forget to look back later after the video's done recording. Hey! Okay, let's go. Control went funny for a second. Come on, little Metar. And I noticed that water is not flickering yellow like the uh, water in the next area. But I know it'll also one hit. It, I think it one hit kills just as bad, so let's not prove that. Love that it does stops coming through once you get there. Should come through here. And this will do the electrified water. Yeah, I see it flickering yellow. I'm not letting you shoot me while I'm up here. And drop. Next area will have that health up. Nope. Next area. And I'm gonna end up sacrificing a life. Sorry, I scratched my ear. I'm gonna end up probably sacrificing a lot! I killed you, why do you still fire your attack at me? Split second too soon. Wow. <sighs> well, nobody ever said I'd be successful. I'm not, I'm not rushing through that part. I don't have the lives to spare. <laughs> Can't just walk right past that, though. I really feel like a checkpoint should have been right there. I mean, it's really close to the previous checkpoint, but just that, that room in of itself feels like it was designed for a checkpoint, and I don't get one. Oh! 
Almost. If I hadn't gotten hit by that attack which stunned me for a split second, I would have made it out of there. Also, if I had dashed. But, uh, that gives us a health upgrade. Oh! Well, that was clever on my part. I hit the... I, on reflex, hit the R button trying to dash like I would in the, uh... In the game... in the... Other Mega Man X games. I was trying to say... Game Boy for some reason, but no. Well, with that, we're gonna move the Launch Octopus so I can grab the armor. Since that's the other thing on my list, and, uh... Doesn't really matter which order I do these two in. I mean, really, I just need the armor and the dash. And then I know where another health up is in this level, too. Oh! Well, that would have been unfortunate. I really love the 8-bit re remix of Launch Octopus's uh, soundtrack. And I think that's where, if you play Zero, you go down. Which would cut me off the access to this area. Okay. No, oh, I thought there'd be spikes. Ah! That's not where I thought there'd be a health up, but okay. Oh, that's right, it's the, the other... Down here will be a capsule, not a health up. I think. Yep. Come on. What the... Did you just see that torpedo go back up? Fire the rapid fire laser cannon. That right there is the reason that things typically have a uh, invincibility frame. Otherwise, you can just spam shot them. It wouldn't be much fun for the bosses <laughs> if I hit the jump key twice and nearly jumped myself into oblivion. See, that's the advantage you can use on these guys, is that they don't have a... <laughs> they don't have invincibility frames, so you can hold down the rapid-fire key and beat the tar out of them. Enter this capsule. Take this body upgrade. This upgrade will increase your defensive ability, utilizing the energy from... From damage, you can unleash the Giga Crush. No, also half the amount of damage I take. There we go. Now, with those two items and the two health ups, it's funny, I have exactly the starting amount of health, and you can see how much the health ups have added to it. Wait! Oh, no, you don't. I want to know what's over there. I want to know. It's land! Ow! Ah, I fell for that last time. <laughs> I, f I remember this, and I fell for that trap last time. There we go. You should come up somewhere around here. Without having the spiked floor to deal with, I can chase him around. Ow! Eh! Eh! Eh, I say. There we go. 
Ooh. Ooh. So many souls. So much soul. And here we go, Launch Octopus's room. I think. Yep. I'm done being an artist, you goober. Oh crud, I forgot. I forgot. Um, and that artist joke was a reference to in uh, Maverick Hunter. He talks about being artistic. I forgot I've got to use the down. Hold down and jump to dash to stay out of that attack. I tried double jumping and that got me into trouble because I couldn't do it fast and often enough. Ah! What was that? I've never seen him do that. I mean, I guess that's where the ability I get comes from, but man, that was annoyingly close. If I hadn't taken that first hit from not remembering to die, uh, which button to hit to, to do the, the correct dash. Wait a second. My normal shots are doing two chinks of damage. That's that's totally fair, ain't it? <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and pelt you in the face until you fall over. That's a totally fair way to win a fight. Death by a thousand cuts. Eventually you're gonna fall over. It's a, it's a video game term where, like, even if you... If your health doesn't regenerate and you keep taking one damage intermittently, you'll still eventually run out of health, even if you have 10 million health. Just statistically, you're going down and not up. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got the Giga Crusher, too. And that was Launch Octopus. So next I'm going to go ahead and do Volt Catfish to be thorough, but that will be next time. So I will see you next time.